welcome back to my channel guys and today I'm doing the video on how to speed up your metabolism my opinion wise now I've watched a lot of videos on this type of thing in the past when I was starting my fitness journey and bless you and everyone kind of has different opinions and different points that they emphasize and things like that so I just wanted to start the video by saying this is my opinion on the matter from my experience and you might not agree or other people might not agree for different reasons but yes this is my opinion on how to speed up metabolism from my experience so my journey has been over around three years um from the my fitness um journey video you'll see like it's been a very long continuous process and i think you guys started asking for a video on this after i said on the my fitness journey that i thought i'd sped up my metabolism oh my god i cannot say that word metabolism um a lot over the last few years so the second thing sort of point to make clear is that it's not a quick process um from my experience and from a lot of people a lot of other people's point of views it's not something that you can change overnight it's not something that you can change in a few weeks it's a long process if you want to speed up your metabolism you want to keep it fast long term and kind of anything that you want long term or that you're going to kind of gain in a healthy way um it's going to take more than a quick fix to create that for yourself the first tip for speeding up your metabolism is a major big one for me and i think it's just the biggest most important most effective one and that is building muscle carrying lean muscle on your body for every pound of muscle that you're going to build you're going to apparently be able to um burn 50 more calories now over the past three years i would say i've gained about 10 pounds of muscle so that's an extra 500 calories that i can consume that i wouldn't have been able to consume before for me to kind of maintain my weight now for me and my personal experience this is a hundred percent true because i remember th three years ago before my fitness journey i explained this in my fitness journey i would literally say to my mum, i eat nothing like i eat literally three small meals a day i don't snack and i i'm just like no, nothing's happening and say I would say on an average day around three years ago I would be eating under a thousand calories like maybe 800 calories or something ridiculous like that and my weight would just maintain forever like nothing would happen and now I eat can eat well over 2,000 calories and my weight will maintain so for me that's proof that something's happened here to maximize on the amount of lean muscle that you're carrying throughout your whole body, you wanna work all areas of your body. So even though I say to work all areas of your body for loads of other reasons, this is a major reason that the more muscle you carry all over your body, so that's not just in your legs or your glutes, but also your arms and your back. And you can see, look, I don't look ridiculously muscular, but I do carry muscle throughout my whole body that I've built over the past three years. And it all adds up to lean muscle mass that it's gonna burn more calories as you live, sleep, rest, and all of that. Now, the second point is another big one, not as big as building muscle, but important to kind of day-to-day -day training at the gym is um, the type of way that you work out. So hit cardio or hit kind of training in general supposedly burns nine times the amount of fat than other forms of training so more kind of low intensity steady states of training um hit is high intensity interval training so that's when you train high intensity for a short period of time and then you rest then you train high intensity then you rest and that supposedly burns nine times the amount of fat than training at a low intensity and this is on the same kind of point weightlifting um is also um known to be kind of the best one of the best way one of the best ways to train to burn fat um weight training in itself is almost a form of hit so it's like you're going high intensity doing the weightlifting and then you rest between each set so it's kind of a form of hit in itself but they say if you combine weight training with a small amount of hits, like I do now, I incorporate two days 
of my week when I do upper body into and I do 15 minutes of hit cardio before I start my session that burns 10 times more fat than another form of training so low intensity or running for a steady at a steady state or yeah other forms of aerobic exercise weight training and hit training together is the perfect combination for burning fat efficiently and speeding up your metabolism any exercise in general helps to speed up your metabolism um but yeah weight training and hit are definitely known as the best two for burning fat and speeding up your metabolism so that's a really important thing to incorporate and once you incorporate strength training weight training you're going to build muscle so they go hand in hand really again don't expect super super fast results these things take time so be patient now those two points are the most important points for me um another point that people stress a lot that i guess i don't really think about because i do it anyway and i always have is eating frequently and not kind of starving yourself for long periods of time the theory kind of behind this summed up is that when you starve your body for a period of time it then kind of goes into the survival technique and next time you eat it kind of thinks that it's going to go into starvation mode again and so it needs to conserve as much kind of energy in the form of fat or whatever as possible to make sure next time it goes into starvation mode it's got kind of food and energy there if it needs it. It's a really easy thing to slip into um, I used to do it all the time a couple of years ago when I used to just think the hungrier I feel the more I'd be like yes this is I'm losing weight I feel hungry so my body is probably like losing weight like so quickly because I'm always hungry this is fab it's not ideal because your body doesn't doesn't like to be put in starvation mode people think that um, eating frequently every kind of few hours or so is better for speeding up metabolism now i wouldn't say it's essential because i know plenty of people and i before have eaten for long periods of time just three meals a day like when i was at uni and super busy i wouldn't have time to snack like throughout the day and stuff so i would just eat three big meals a day and i didn't really have a problem but i guess day-to-day -day life like in general i do snack just because i get hungry so quickly and i do eat a lot of food so to fit it all in I usually do tend to kind of eat my three meals and then have like snacks between them if you're feeding your body kind of frequently it doesn't feel the need to keep fat <laughs> for later on when it may go into starvation mode again so that's another point then two other points are just to reduce your stress and to sleep to get enough sleep now these two points are really important for just life in general and it sounds it's annoying for me to kind of talk about this because I don't know if you guys, if you watch or follow me on any of my other social medias, you'll know that I'm a very stressed person naturally and I really do struggle with stress and I do have, I kind of struggled with panic attacks in the past and I get um, my skin condition, eczema flares up a lot when I get stressed and so I'm still finding my way to kind of reduce and control my stress um, but I really am trying to do it and I really would urge you guys to try and um, focus on how stressed you feel day to day and really try and control that because when you are stressed bodies can go either way bodies can really lose their appetite and lose weight when they're stressed or they can really kind of cling on and hold all the weight and not want to lose any weight when you're stressed so you don't know how your body's going to react and the best way is to just kind of reduce stress as much as possible because that's what your body is going to be most content with a lot of people say you cannot kind of like diet or like be doing you know expecting your body to lose weight if it's not um getting enough sleep because it needs to function properly it needs to have energy and all of that low stress and sleep is just what your body needs to function properly and kind of most efficiently at its optimum so there's other things like people suggest drinking cold water because cold it's I don't know your body has to like work more to heat up the water once it gets inside of you and things like that but I really wouldn't focus too much on those type of things so I just wanted to finish the video by talking a little bit about what you can do if you've gotten into a vicious cycle of eating super low calorie and you want to kind of get out of that cycle and 
um, build up your metabolism and kind of get back to a healthy calorie intake and stuff. So in the past, again, this is my opinion from my experience. In the past, I was eating very, very low calorie when I did the slimming shakes and all that. I'd messed up my metabolism quite a lot and I was eating super, super low calorie because that was the only way that I could stay slim was to, and I wasn't even that lean back then, but to stay that weight, I had to eat super low calorie because that is what I had done to my body for the past few, however long. I started building muscle at the gym and it was a slow process. It was over a few years, this whole process. So I basically started building muscle at the gym and as I built more muscle, I would get hungrier and need more energy and I would slowly, um, subconsciously increase my calorie intake as I was building more muscles, muscle in the gym. So I stayed at the same, probably roughly the same calorie intake for a while, at the beginning of my journey whilst I was building muscle, then I would start to get really super hungry after like heavy kind of sessions as I was starting to carry more lean muscle and I was just generally more hungry. And so yeah, I would slowly, I was slowly subconsciously increasing my calorie intake up until now where I eat a lot, a lot of calories and it's all good because I'm carrying lots of muscle and I do my HIIT workouts and my strength training and yeah. So yeah, don't panic if you're in that vicious cycle now. If you really are a little bit worried about the low calorie and stuff, then I would suggest getting some actual help from a proper professional, somebody with qualifications in nutrition or someone that knows exactly how you could, you know, tailor this to you and work with them on how to kind of get back to a normal calorie intake because I don't want to give you kind of my experience and my opinion if you're then going to sort of latch onto that and it's not going to kind of be what you needed if you were in a kind of worse situation at the beginning than me then it may not work or I don't know I just don't want to give out anything that's not going to help anyone so you have to take everything you hear online as their opinion and as kind of take it with a pinch of salt don't take it for gold don't latch onto it 100 percent do your own research do your own kind of searching around like i said i research articles all the time and i read so much up on things like this and then i have to at the end of the day i have to take what i've read take what i've learned but also look at what i've done and look at my my own experience and then give advice from there it is my advice at the end of the day and that's all i want to give is my opinion and my advice from my experience i really hope that has been kind of helpful and a good insight into how you can speed up your metabolism. Don't forget, it is a long process. I know it might seem frustrating, but it is so gonna be worth it in the end. Don't be kind of on the lookout or kind of getting too caught up in waiting for change. When can I eat more food? When is this gonna speed up? Because that's not how it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen over a long period of time. You don't probably, you, it won't be as long as my period. My three years was like, a whole learning curve. I hope this helped someone and I hope you enjoyed the video and please leave me a comment and a like if you enjoyed the video and or found it helpful and I'll see you in the next video if not before on Instagram or Snapchat for any kind of updates on what I eat, my nutrition, such how I live. Make sure you're following along on my summer shreds and subscribe to my channel for any more kind of informational videos and things like this that are soon to be coming. I do upload very often um, so Thank you for all your support and thank you for watching. Bye guys. Mwah.